So once you've got everything modeled and UV mapped and exported, something that I always recommend you do that will make the texture guy's job way easier is if you just take a few hours to plan out exactly what the texture should be. And you can do that by creating some texture IDs. A texture ID is just a basic color map that will help software like Substance Painter automatically assign materials based on the map you provide. And a great way to think about this is to try and imagine what kind of materials is everything on your character made out of. Anything that shares the same type of material is generally a good idea to group together. So for example, on my character, the riding gloves and the riding boots are probably something like a brown leather. So everything that I imagine is going to be leather, we're going to give the same texture ID of blue and everything that is supposed to be armor, I'm imagining is pretty much just basically a typical metal silver look. So I'm gonna color everything I imagine is going to be metal in this green color. And then there's gonna be small detailed accent areas like the belt buckles, which are technically gonna be metal, but I want them to be a slightly different type of metal. So I'm just gonna group all the belt buckles together and give them a different ID of yellow. And just do this for each material you imagine. Everything that's leather, give it an ID. Everything that's plate armor, give it an ID. Anything that's fabric, probably give it an ID. Once you're done, save it. And what this means now is the texture guy can just use this map and start immediately dragging smart materials and within seconds have most of your character textures drafted before your lunch break is over. And even if you're not using Substance Painter, this is a really helpful tool that allows you to really quickly do the real texture maps because you've already got a map of what everything is supposed to be. So either way, I highly recommend you take some time to make your IDs, but it's really up to you. Regardless, hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.